Java enums are a mechanism for defining constants in Java. Before we had Java enums, we would use uh, typically use a collection of um, public static final uh, ints or strings or some other data type, uh, just like I have showed a couple of examples of here at the top of this class, as you can see. There are three constants of the type int with the name high, medium, low, and I have two constants here uh, of string with the with the name file and HTTP. You define an enum just like you define a new class. So I will just go over here, right click, say new Java class, and choose an enum, and I will call it level. This will uh, represent the three constants here, high, medium, and low. And um, once I have defined my enum, you can see instead of the class keyword here, you use the, the enum keyword. I can simply write the three values that I want my enum collection or my uh, my connection of constants to uh, to contain uh, like this. So that is basically what an enum means. It means an enumeration of constants. So this is a collection of constants, high, medium, and low. Once the enum has uh, been defined, I can reference it over here by simply declaring a variable of the type level and that is the type of the enum and then simply reference the um, you can see the values here as if they were static variables this is an alternative to referencing a constant like this like I would have done before uh, we had enums. Now let me just clean the code up a little bit before I continue. Let's remove all of these constants here. I can use an enum inside an if statement just like I can, could do with a, a string or an int or whatever other type of constant and this is how it looks. As you can see, I can use the equals. I can simply use the double equals um, operator, and that is that is good enough. You don't have to use uh, the dot equals method with enums. This uh, simplifies your code a little bit, and um, it also avoids null pointer exceptions. You can see I can, of course. Chain it else if level equals level dot medium and else. See now I have created an a case for each of the values in the in the level uh, enum. Each of the constant values. I can also use an enum inside of um, inside of a switch statement. like this case and notice how I do not have to reference the um, the level class first or the, the the level enum class name like I do up here I only write the the value high here and break and I can repeat that And there you see this is a, a very simple way of referencing these um, constant or enum, yeah, constants defined inside the enum inside a switch statement. Actually, I can simplify this code a little bit because um, it is actually possible to just print out the value of, um, of the enum itself because um, the value of an enum when you print it is actually uh, its textual name. So if I just uh, reference level high like this level dot medium 
like this and level dot low like that and I run this example then you will see that the that the, the text high will be printed out can you see this is actually the name of the constant as defined inside here the, the enum the reason that the name is printed out is because uh, enums get an implicit two string method that we do not define ourselves we can but you don't have to and if you do not define it then it will just return the name of of the um, of the constant itself let me just show you how that works and let's change this one to medium let's run it again and now you can see it prints out medium down here it is also possible to obtain an enumeration of all the values inside the enum because the um, the enum gets a static method called value values like that and that returns um, an array of the enum and actually it returns each of the values inside here so I can show you that we just iterate through and then we print it out let me try to run it and then let's see what we get out as you can see you get high medium and low because those are the three constants defined inside the uh, the level enum it is also possible to create an enum from the string value of its name for instance um, as you can see I also get a magic um, value of method automatically generated um, into my enum class it comes from the compiler and you can see if I do value of high I will get an enum back and if I print it out you will see that it has the value it is the 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 high enum as um, as passed by this name or as identified by this string here let me just try to run the code and you can see I actually have the high uh, constant inside the, the level enum this is a very useful uh, function if you have uh, externalized uh, for instance like uh, the value of a constant for instance you have serialized um, an object which contains a reference to such a level um, enum constant value and then you need to deserialize it again and you want to turn it not just into the string text but actually into an instance of a level then you can use this value of method enum constants can also contain fields for instance I can have a, a field for each of these um, I can have a field on the enum and then each of the uh, enum constants can have a different value for that field for instance um, we can do like this private int um, like that and in order to set that value you have to pass the value in through the uh, constructor to each of these um, uh, constant definitions up here for instance I pass the value one two and three here and then of course for this to actually work I would need to define a constructor in the class as well or in the enum as well so we do that actually I can declare it private like this and then we do int int value equals int value right so now you can see I have constructor here it takes an int as a parameter and I set it to the um, 
member variable called in variable which I have declared here. Now each of these constants defined up here, um, when they are defined, the constructor here is called, and so this int value that I'm passing as parameter to the constructor here is now stored internally in the um, inside each of these enum uh, constants. In order to access them, of course, I would have to add a method that can access them, right? So let me just do that. I will add a, a getter here. Of course, I don't want the T in the name. And now you can see over here, let me just, um, instead of printing out the text, actually, let's keep doing that. And then now we get, get the level as a number. Uh, maybe the, the name get level is a bit little bit of bad name. It should have may, maybe been get level int, but just for the sake of the example, let's see what happens. Ah, it prints out one. And if we go back into the declaration of the level enum, you can see that one is the int value that I'm passing to the constructor of the high constant. In addition to fields and methods, an enum in Java can also contain abstract methods. And the difference between a normal method and an abstract method in an enum is that whereas the, a normal method here, an instance method, has the same implementation for each of these constants, um, with an abstract method you can actually have a different implementation of the method for each of these constants. And I will just show you how. Let's just define, normalize, right? And it has to be abstract, of course, like that. Now, as you can see up here, the compiler complains that I do not have a, an implementation of this method for these uh, constants. So now here in the first one, we will just return high dot to string, and then I will do return the uppercase, which is kind of the same as it already has. So that's kind of boring. Let's do two lowercase, actually lowercase and then here we will return medium to string and then to lowercase plus we just return it again to string plus uh, to uppercase so now it actually the string gets a little bit longer it, and, and you should not think about whether these concrete implementations make sense because they don't. I just show you that it's possible to have um, different implementations for the abstract method for each of the constants defined in the enum. Like that. And now let's go back here and see what actually happens here when we try to print out um, the three different constants that I have now defined here. Actually, I need to call their normalized method, right? And so we just repeat that. Medium and low, like that. Now let's run it and see what it prints out. But as you can see, just like we expected, the first call to normalize returns the two lowercase. Uh, the lowercase version of high, just as we defined in here, takes the two string and then makes it, turns it into lowercase. The second case here returns first the lowercase version and then the high case version appended to that. And this is what happens here. First returns the lowercase and then the uppercase. And um, the final example here returns first the uppercase version and then the lowercase version. And that is just like it was defined in, in here. And so that is how you can, um, you can use abstract methods to implement uh, a method in case you need a different implementation for each constant defined in your enum. Now that we are at the topic of enums in Java, I want to mm -hmm. show you that there are two special uh, collections in Java that are optimized for containing um, enums. And the first one is called enum set. 
and you create that using the uh, you create an instance of an enum set using the um, the static method of and now I can for instance put the high and medium values into that like this and if I in case I print out the enum set you will see that it contains now these two values have a look at this there you see high and medium are now part of this enum set let me just clean up this code a little bit so we don't have to look at all the code that is not related to this example and now the second is called enum map and uh, you create that like this In, into the constructor I have to pass the class of the enum that I want to target the uh, enum for and now I can put some types on the enum is actually used as key in the map and therefore in case I want to um, have a bit of types on it you can see now it is a map of level comma string now I can put something into it I can say enum map put level high and then I can say high value I can do the same with the low low value and now I can print it out and you can see what's inside of it as you can see we now have a map down here with the key high pointing to the text of the string high value and the key low pointing to the text or string low value one final issue worth mentioning is that your enum definition to your enum classes here they are automatically extending a class called java.lang.enum so you cannot extend another class with the with your own enums there or another enum you, you can only extend this um, this java.lang.enum and that's about it now you have seen pretty much all of what you can do with the with the java enum